Charlie Mulgrew takes aim at his targets. Oh, and it's gone straight in, Charlie Mulgrew. 15 minutes played and direct from a corner kick. Charlie Mulgrew has beaten Michael Fraser. There's a swirling wind in Dingwall. And the goalkeeper lost that one in the air and couldn't keep the ball out under a bit of pressure from Gary Hooper. Here's Kyle. The league becomes a real focus for Celtic now after they were knocked out of the Champions League in midweek. Stokes back to Miku. Still Miku. And Michael Fraser makes the block. It's just Miku's fifth SPL start. He's got two goals of Venezuelan. Monroe. One back by Beram Kayal. Nice one too with Gary Hooper too. Now Anthony Stokes. He gets the shout from Dylan McGeeach. McGeeach to Hooper. Oh, and it's looped over Fraser. And into the back of the net, Gary Hooper has goal number 24 for the season. And Fraser beaten. You wonder if this was a cross or a shot. It doesn't matter in the end because it's ended up in the back of the net and Celtic are two up with just 21 minutes played. Vigers away by Ambrose. Can come back in though. Kovacevic, Wilson and Monroe. Oh, what a strike by Grant Monroe. Stunning from the centre back. Celtic managed to clear their lines, but only as far as Kovacevic. And when it dropped to Grant Munro, I don't think anyone in the ground expected that that might be the outcome. Just his second goal of the season, and it was an absolute cracker. Figers. Up against Charlie Mulgrew. Oh, and he's managed to bundle his way through still going Vigers nicely done on oh, there's Morrow on the back post and two goals in six minutes and Ross County are level after a disastrous opening 21 minutes it's now 2-2 Vigers providing the cross the defending was not clever at all by Celtic and Morrow pounced Morrow. There's McGeer. Miku now. Oh, and he's got Stokes on hands. Oh, and Celtic really should have been back in front. Anthony Stokes rattles the outside of the post. Miku touchdown to Gary Hooper. Celtic actually lost their last SPL match. That was at Motherwell. Kyle, Hooper now. Oh, and onto the bar from Kovacevic. Fraser made a good save to stop Gary Hooper adding his second of the day. Then it just hit Kovacevic, and he was relieved to see it hit the crossbar. Rocco Quinn, Ambrose always left it short, and what a chance for Martin Scott. Well, Ambrose with a big mistake, and Scott should have made him pay. Lawson, over the top it goes. Volfart, oh, and they're almost in again, Ross County. What a chance for Stefan Volfart. Nicely clipped ball in by Lawson, a former Celtic player. Volfart couldn't finish. Tony Watt. Hooper now, oh, brilliantly done by Hooper. But it's the outside of the post from the Englishman. Great improvisation there from the striker. Here's Economou. Does this have a late twist? Volfart's after it, he meets it and finds the back of the net. Stefan Volfart 
has surely got the winner here. Celtic absent in defence, and Volpart was there to pounce. And it is an historic victory for Ross County over Celtic.